Hello everybody. Now uh, today we are starting with a new series in DAMS which is uh, going to be a radiological pathological correlation series because we believe in the current pattern of exams especially in for your PG entrance exam or for USMLE or even for residents a lot of exam questions that are being asked are a correlation between the radiological finding and the pathological finding. Now uh, with me I am Dr. Sumer Sethi, I am a radiologist and with me I have Dr. Sanjeev Chitrakar who is a senior pathologist. We would be doing a series of cases in this sequence where we will be looking at both the radiological findings of a disease and how they correlate with the pathological image. I will hand over the mic to Dr. Sanjeev to give the br basics about, uh, brief about this case that we are going to discuss today. Hello, hello everyone and uh, yeah, we are having a case here, a 30 year old woman with burning micturation and fever. The history itself is telling she is having some problem with kidney or urinary tract, we do not know and she is having fever. Probably it is telling that patient is, uh, patient is responding to an infection, that might be one of the reason or definitely there is some inflammatory pathology, that is what is, uh, you know, the meaning of or uh, whatever indirect reference of a fever here ok. So, let us look at so whenever such patient comes definitely we will first would like to do a basic investigation of routine urine microscopy because if it was some infectious cause or any inflammatory cause in urine uh, or in urinary tract or in kidney it would have been we could identify at least some findings in the urine pathology. and. Yes, in the same case, in this case also urine microscopy was done and let me show you some images of urine microscopy. Yes, this is what was seen in one of the fields and I will be showing one more image which was seen in another field so that and I will come to the findings of each one of them subsequently. Okay, This was the another field, yes this was one finding and this was another finding which was very very specific finding that we saw in urine microscopy right and what we are seeing in this microscopy is you are seeing a I am sure many of you can identify this this is a cast urinary cast this is because it is taking shape of it is taking shape of the tubular lumen ok casts are formed in the tubules especially in the distal tubules uh, because of the TAM hosphor protein which coagulate in the distal tubule because of the pH ok. So, there is a cast and inside the cast I am I am seeing so many of these definitely cells and I am sure all of you seeing there are nucleated cells these definitely are not looking like non nucleated RBCs or anything and these are most of them are lymphocytes right. So, that is why we will call this as a leukocyte cast or a WBC cast. Okay. So, when you are getting a WBC cast that itself tells you one thing that the pathology lies in the tubules definitely not in the urinary tract okay, because you are getting a cast. So, now it can be anything so it itself tells me one thing that the WBCs were definitely there in the tubules that means it can be some infection of tubules or maybe some inflammation of tubules that is what I can say from the urine microscopy this is the first one. The second one yes, in the second one also we are seeing a cast here, the cast inside this definitely these are not the normal cell, look at these, these are definitely the WBCs that we are seeing of course, there can be WBCs and inside the cast these are very small nuclei, are you identifying these are very very small nuclei, this is not a routine staining, it is a phase contrast microscope image and these small nuclei definitely tell us what there will be no such cell inside our human bodies which are very very small than a lymphocyte. So, definitely these are telling us these probably are what bacteria. So, this is what is a bacterial cast. So, when again when we are getting a bacterial cast we will again think of what definitely there is infection see bacteria is present in urine it can be urinary tract infection or it can be a pyelonephritis acute pyelonephritis two things can be there and especially when you are seeing a bacterial cast it is very very rarely seen remember bacterial cast in this case we could see it but very rarely seen usually very rarely seen in any of the diseases bacterial cast but most of the times we will be seeing on urine microscopy we will be seeing these tubular uh, sorry we will be seeing the leukocyte cast so this are telling in favor of 
tubular pathology, probably infectious tubular pathology. So, there is some infection in the tubule. We also have a gross examination of the kidney, although we routinely do not do gross examination for such things. Yes, gross examination, I can see one of the kidney is enlarged, the other one is also focally enlarged here, not the whole kidney. And in this kidney, if you concentrate on this kidney, you are seeing focal yellowish areas surrounded by some dark areas also there. So, probably these are all necrotic areas, the darker ones and the yellowish areas probably are pus, we do not know, we cannot just confirm here, yes, I can suspect of it. Okay. And yes, now Dr. Sumer will take the radiological imaging of the same case. Now, if we have a patient like this uh, with the clinical history of urinary tract infection and fever and if you see the urine findings, they are suspicious of a renal uh, origin. So, when we look at the CT image, uh, this is a coronal reformatted uh, contrast enhanced CT image and this is the excretory phase of CT where we are able to see this is the liver, spleen and we are able to see the right kidney and you can see the dye has excreted. This is the excretory phase and if I compare the right kidney to the left kidney, the first thing that comes to my mind is the left kidney is enlarged. So, we have a swollen left kidney. Now, I want you to compare the two sides. Look at the enhancement pattern of the right kidney. Can you see focal wedge shaped areas of reduced enhancement on the left side? Wedge shaped areas giving rise to a striated appearance. So, this is a enlarged left kidney with striated appearance on contrast enhanced CT with focal wedge shaped areas which are not taking up contrast which would favor the diagnosis of a disease which is acute pyelonephritis. So, with this we have kind of correlated how a urine examination finding could predict and a CT finding could confirm the infection in the kidney, this is acute pyelonephritis. I will ask Dr. Sanjeev to give the concluding remarks. Yes, in conclusion, basically always when we get, when we get a patient with fever and burning micturition and when you find in the urine, you have to do a urine examination, routine urine examination and when you find in urine, most of the times you will find bacteria and you might find the WBC cast or the leukocyte cast. So, when you get a bacteria in urine that can be either from urinary tract or the infection might have gone into the tubules. If it has gone into the tubules, it might produce bacterial cast as I showed you, which is I told will not be seen in most of the cases. So, it becomes very difficult for us to make a diagnosis just based on the bacteria in urine. Remember that bacteria in urine, if they are there, they will be seen in both urinary tract. Even if you do a culture, both will be positive pyelonephritis will also be positive as well as urinary tract infection will also be positive okay or even if you do enzyme studies both will be positive the only difference will be basically what a diagnosis by a bacterial cast on the other hand WBC cast yes when WBC casts are seen in urine we can definitely say that pathology is lying in the tubules but whenever you get a WBC cast it does not tell that there is infection in the tubule because it tells you only what there are WBCs coming from the tubule. It might be a pyelonephritis, it might be a tubular, tubular interstitial nephritis which can also cause WBC cast. Very rarely even glomerulonephritis also can cause WBCs because there is glomerular injury and WBCs can be filtered into the tubules. So, it, it will be always you know try to correlate with the radiological imaging. And uh, I, I would say, Sanjeev, that unilateral swollen kidney on uh, CT would help you to narrow down the diagnosis and uh, the acute history of urinary tract infection also works in our favor. So, thank you very much and we will come back with more such cases in the series. Uh, keep uh, logged on to our channel on Dam Sally channel on YouTube for such more such cases. Thank you very much.